You guys, yeah, this is my boyfriend. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Be quiet. You literally just kidnapped me. No, I didn't. I don't know what he's talking about. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I want to take a ride on your disco stick. Ba, ba, ku, ku, go, go, ba, ku, go. Got John. P. P. No. No. G. G. O. O. Pinocchio. P. Do 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 bat drag ah ah I mean I'm Batman ah ah That's disgusting! Oh, she's drinking rage. Oh my oh, god! Oh shit! <laughs> Don't pour it. Let's go. Mm hmm Yeah, Emily. I just want to let you know that I heard that you've been talking some smack. Then I just want you to know that I've been taking Taekwondo lessons in the back of the Walmart Super Center. So if you don't want to get hurt, then you better stop. Am I going crazy? What I even know? Am I right back where I started 14 years ago? Wanna guess the ending, if it ever does? I swear to God that all I've ever wanted was a little bit of everything, all of the time. Yes, she definitely put her head down like twice in a row on the Vampire King. But yes, she has. Me and her are very cursed. We have to kiss each other to get this curse away. I'm gonna chase after your ass. Your ass is worth chasing after because you're the only man for me. There's no one else for me out there. You have to understand, you're the only one for me. I want to thank everybody for looking at my videos the other day. I mean, uh, I didn't mean to say sorry, I'm just saying sorry. This not the thing. Okay. Guess the color. You know what, man? Go fuck my Guess pussy, man. Want. You know what, man? I'm gonna choose fucking yellow, man. It's me fucking sunny. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, man, go fuck my macaroni, man. You know what I'm saying? My macaroni says fuck my soul. Goodbye, man. Blue or green? Like I said, it's fucking blue because I want to be a fucking water. Yeah, man, go fuck yourself. I'm gonna put some water in my fucking head. No, man, I'm gonna put some water. I'm done with this stupidity. Yeah, fuck you. Farts are funny, but I'm not sure why. Some are smelly and maybe they're dry. It's not polite to fart, that's true. It actually means you need to poo. I fart a lot when I eat cauliflower. I once had a fart to contain superpower. The hilarious sound is the best part. Nothing is funnier than a loud, smelly fart. The hilarious is the best part. Nothing is.
is funnier than a loud smelly fart. Yes, I am a real greaser, okay? So if you want to become a greaser, um, very, very simple. First, what I would do is I would start off with buying some of the clothing, okay, for the style and whatnot. So, you know, fucking t-shirts, jeans, Chuck Converse, higher low tops, um, you know. And I would start doing your research about the history about greasers. I would start doing that as well. And um, start looking up some of the hairstyles. Start looking up some tutorials on how to do the hairstyles. That would be the main thing I would start with doing. And then once you're, you kind of learn from that and you're kind of done with that, then I would probably look up the attitude and what attitude you need to have. Hello, is this a grocery store in the state of Utah? Indeed it is. Wonderful. I would like to purchase your best bottle of wine, please. Ooh, I'm sorry. We don't sell wine here. Are you not a grocery store? In fact, we are. Then am I to assume that you cannot purchase alcohol at a grocery store in Utah? But of course you can. Excellent, then. I'll have a bottle of scotch. No scotch. Vodka, perhaps. Not as such. Gin? Nary a drop. Wonderful. Where might I purchase some hard liqueur? Why, at the local state-owned liquorie, of course. Marvelous. I shall just pop over to the local state-owned liquorie on this beautiful sun. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not open on Sunday. Spectacular. I totally get Daredevil and Captain America, but those other three characters are all of the women on the list. Did you notice that? That you immediately accepted both of the men and then complained about all of the women? How many times does a movie or show prominently featuring a non-male hero have to have negative reception before you start to notice that the only pattern, the only thing these all have in common, is that they prominently feature a non-male hero? Because right now, we're seven for seven in the MCU. Captain Marvel, Black Widow, Thor Love and Thunder, WandaVision, Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, and She-Hulk. All review bombed. And if you go to IMDb and look at the scores broken down by demographic, you can see that the majority of low scores primarily come from men. At what point do you look at all these factors and maybe consider that men might just be struggling to adapt to no longer being the center of attention? You conveniently missed a few things here, so let me help you out with this timeline. He cheated on me first. I forgave him. We went on to have a couple of children, and later on in our marriage, we decided to start swinging with the couple next door. Partaking in that swinging blurred any boundary of monogamy that we had previously had. While we were swinging, we became heavily involved in drinking. While we were drinking, I eventually had an affair and got pregnant. I told him that I had the affair. I told him I got pregnant. I told him I wanted to keep the baby. He said, hey, I'll raise the baby as my own since the biological father wanted nothing to do with her. Little did I know that behind the scenes he was having an affair with my mother and they were mustering up this whole plan on how they were gonna take my children from me and go live happily ever after. We both cheated on one another, but I never deserved for my mother to betray me in the manner that she did. I could quite literally care less if the entire world fucking hates me. My entire family has hated me my entire life. I've hated myself my entire life. I think I'm a terrible fucking person, quite honestly. So go ahead, hate me. Tell me that I deserved all of this. Tell me that I made my bed. Tell me that, that if it wasn't for me, this all wouldn't have happened, right? But what you're not going to do is point me out to be the only bad guy in this situation because I wasn't the only bad guy.